Hey, yo, I'm DJ Sensex. This is the Hip Hop Raise Me podcast. And right now, I'm with one of the greatest MCs in the game. Dang, for real? Cold lyricist. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but I, I want to get the intro right. Like, do you prefer J.I.D. or Jid? What do you prefer? I don't really care, bro. Don't oh, really, for real? Yeah, it don't really matter for real. For okay. Real. All right. I'm going to flip in between throughout this. Okay, yeah. <laughs> but it's good <laughs> to connect again. Yeah, good to see you again, always. And, and we're in East London again. Always, it's I love late, it out here. Years later, we we survived the pandemic. Yeah, almost. We not. We still. We still in it. Slick. We still in it. I got a mask yeah. on me right now. <laughs> yeah, we're we're in lockdown limbo, but yeah, you know, we, I like that lockdown limbo. Yeah. but we we last time I caught up with you, I think it was like four years ago, and then we was out here. So yeah, it's is it's dope. Like you know, the reps got bigger, the catalogs got bigger, and everything. More shows, more yeah. verses, and everything else. So I I I just wanted to talk to you today about lyricism man like lyrical wizardry because you you've got you, you, you bro you're crazy lyricist man thank you bro like sis i'm gonna gas you a lot today i'm oh, gonna man. be highly complimentary i appreciate the guess <laughs> i've been sad Let's go. <laughs> but any anyone who's heard your music anyone anyone knows like what you're about and what you do i just want to take it back though man like you know like way 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 back back yeah. to the beginning like yeah. What what made you want to rap? Like, how did it start for you? Um, I feel like I never like expected myself to do music at all. I was like super into sports. My brother like played football. He's in the NFL, all that stuff. So I tried to follow him. They years older than me though. But my parents used to say this. It's like you would hear a song on the radio. They say about about me. They say I would like hear a song on the radio one time, and I would know like the whole song. For real? Yeah. So my whole life, I always knew that like. I'm very good at like remembering things and I don't know, it's just always been a thing of mine to just like be like I don't know, my memory is just really good. So I just I just thought that was a tool, like, okay, I can use it if I if I need to do something else because sports didn't really like work out and shit like that. It was cool, I got scholarships or whatever, but it just turned into something else. But I've always been good at like having an ear for music or I knew like exactly what I liked and stuff like that. I didn't I have a like crazy palette as far as like I hate this. And I like this. This is good and this is bad. I could be wrong, but because music is all subjective. But at the same mm. time, I always had like a good. I don't know, just a good so, taste. So, what was you? What was you good at remembering? What What music stands out to you? Like, what was it back in the day that you'd hear where you were like, "Yeah, I know that." Right. I feel like the first song I uh, ever learned was like a Sly and the Family Stone song, okay. like "If You Want Me to Stay." Right. When I was a kid, I used to be singing a lot. And then, as far as rap, probably was like an Outkast song or something like that. Right. And I just knew every word, like, you know, really? just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time, every time I used to hear yeah, something. One specific song. Right. Is there me and you. Oh, me. Okay. Yeah, I feel like it's, uh, what's the name? I'm tripping on name, but you know what I'm talking about. Me yeah, yeah, and yeah. you, yo mama. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That's good in my right? Is that? No, that's Outcast. It's Outcast. Outcast. It's just the two. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so you knew that word for word. Yeah. That's crazy though. Cause that's yeah. like. It's crazy. It's a crazy song. Yeah, but to memorize that word for word and that's mad. Yeah, that's crazy. It's kind of like injected in my DNA. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. So, so how did you start writing and what came next? Um, I officially started. I I officially started like taking it serious around like 2012 maybe, and I started like sitting down and actually like writing stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's when everything started coming together for real. When I right. actually put my focus into it. Right. Yeah, it became a whole like another world for me it just opened up my okay. eyes to a whole another thing and that's interesting that you're saying outcast because you know if atlanta as well right yeah east atlanta andre 3000 big boy yeah insane lyricist i just got a song with big boy this year it's like for real yeah masego put us on the record together it's like one of my favorite ones i did this year right 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 and yeah so moving forward like was was that was that like part of the inspiration like that those those flows that they, those guys are doing yeah 100 percent, bro it kind of like inspired me to like use the type of lyricism or try to be like as out there or whatever they were you know what i'm saying it kind of yeah. gave me like a, a a jolt or a spark to it yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so you you start you start writing lyrics what happens next uh Learning how to perform, I guess, or right. le no, no, actually, learning how to make a song. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, at first, I feel like I was like rapping about, oh, got 
45 guns over here. And like, you know, the, the yeah. typical hip hop period is like, okay, let's talk about bitches. Let's talk about weed. Let's talk about, it's all, I just do all of that stuff. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Because yeah. that's how everyone starts. That's what you kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. are attracted to because yeah. it's easier to like, yeah. probably listen to radio and follow yeah, the trends yeah, yeah. of like the hottest shit. But yeah, yeah. that necessarily wasn't like my, that wasn't me. You yeah, know what I'm saying? I had to find like myself yeah, yeah. and where I was going to like inject certain things that come yeah, from yeah. straight from me and yeah. it kind of worked out perfectly. Cause I had to dial back a little bit. Right. Yeah. When when you worked for Big Boy, was, was you like, yo, well, I was a fan. Did you did you manage to speak to him? 100%. Let him know what it was. I tried, to, I saw him in the studio. I went to Stank on you. And I tried to get some weed oh, from real? him. He had like, I don't even know if the dude was in there selling weed. It looked like he was about to like start like a weed farm or some <laughs> shit like that. It really looked like something bigger than yo. Let me get like, let me get some weed because I can't. Right. I was like, oh shit, y'all finna smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looked yeah. like they was handling some way bigger business on some like weed is the gold <laughs> rush shit. So I was like, oh, right, I just stay out of it. Right. But I, he always knew like I respected him and loved that craft right. and stuff. And he brought us out at a at a show he did to right. do the song. So it was like even yeah. more full circle for me. And right. I always show him my right. love and appreciation just because yeah. he a pioneer for it in Atlanta. Yeah. Now me and you joined this elevators, right? Yes, sir. That's yes, sir. Thank yeah, you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, Little yeah, brain fart. Yeah, 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 yeah. So so you're in the Stanconia, the studio. I've 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 been lucky enough to, to visit there as well. I was, I was there with little John one time. It's mad. But that, that's a crazy <laughs> studio, man. Yeah. Like those guys organize noise, like that they, like Outcast made some of the best hip hop ever. Ever. Like ever and you know, um, musically and everything else like that. So like you being out there, was that did that did that inspire you even more than what you already are, or was it like Yeah. They even like sparked some more stuff for this album I'm like about to put out. Um, yeah. I don't even know, just being in that energy and just being able to be on stage with him and share those moments. Somebody that's like, oh, you were one of the first people I did music. I mean, I, I learned music from, mm. like how to use my verbiage and like dialect and certain like words. It just helped me out. So I okay. always gave him that respect and stuff like that. Okay. I made a joke one time on Twitter and he like blocked me. But then I was like, dang, <laughs> like years later when I got, pop it's, this was like before I was like really anybody in rapping. I was right. like, fake little troll or whatever i feel like i right. said some some weird and then I, I guess he saw it <laughs> then like 2019 2018 yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I, I'm finna like tweet something about it. i'm like oh big yeah. boy ain't got no twitter and he's like oh he blocked you and then when i found out he blocked me he was like it's probably because you said this when my fans dug up the tweet oh right <laughs> yeah. right right yeah, i apologize and shit but it right. was it's still pretty funny yeah them, them them old tweets man old tweets yeah, <laughs> yeah they bite you know that <laughs> So you know, you say you was like trolling. Was this was was this around the time of the Power Two mixtape, or is it before that? It's probably twenty thirteen. Yeah, that's, some that's, early. I was yeah. like just getting kicked out of college type shit. Yeah. According to your SoundCloud, that's when that Power Two mixtape came out. Okay, so. okay, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so so I mean, you, you, we got a lot to talk about. You're just talking about the new album. We're gonna get into that later yeah. as well. So Outcast, that 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 that. That connection definitely explains a lot. Yeah. But like who else who else was you feeling lyrically when you was coming through? Uh like Lauren Hill, like D'Angelo. I was super into that like Neo Soul mm. type of uh vibe. And then like of course like the Lil Wayne's and like TIs and people like that. Like they're always super inspirational because Lil Wayne is just who he is. Like he's probably the most inspirational right. person out of all of it. Like when somebody says, Oh, you kinda sound like Lil Wayne, I'm like, Yes, nigga, let's go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't mind that. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's it's a bunch of different guys like Wu Tang, mm. right, right, Most right. Def. Okay. I took a lot of inspiration from up north hip hop because that's kind of right. where it started at. Okay. Um, so I just pulled from different sides. Yeah. yeah. And of okay. course, like the the modern goats like Jay Z and shit like that. Mm. Like Jay Z is probably my favorite. You know really? what I'm saying? As far as trajectory transition become who he is like the businessman right like that's the mode i'm slick trying to follow mm. but i'm just taking my own route to it i'm from the south too so it's mm. like gonna be a different twist to it but jay is like top notch for me and beyonce i can't not forget her from your perspective who's who's who who would you put there aside from yourself who do you put there as the greatest lyricist in rap who, what would you say besides jay yeah oh are you saying it's jay um jay's like the full pa package um it's a lot of other great guys. Mm. Um, who else would I say? I would put like the top grades, like Cole, like Kendrick, like mm. Drake. Those mm. are the guys that's like today, like thriving. I'm today, still taking yeah, yeah. inspiration. But, but I'm saying all guys. time now. All time. Yeah. 
I might have to go Jigga Man. I ain't even gonna hold mm. you. Jay is like really my mm. guy. Mm. Yeah, like I, I really that. study him in a yeah, yeah, whole yeah. different light. Um, and under, and I ain't gonna say under, but Outcast together, like yeah, yeah, yeah them yeah, as well. Like, yeah, 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 total like inspirations, legendary. Yeah. Like yeah, 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 so I'm yeah. just go with them too. Like I really, I love Biggie and Pac as well, and I right. understand their work. I yeah, studied. Yeah. I, I I do all studying, yeah, yeah. hip hop and stuff. But yeah, I'm gonna just have to go with Jay because it's like it's whole. Like how how you not. Yeah, 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 no, no, no. I hear that. I hear that. Um, and Wayne, dang, Lil Wayne, of course, <laughs> of course. Okay, so you're you're from Atlanta, right? Yeah, East Atlanta. Right. Yo, you, what you do isn't obvious. You you wouldn't think that you're from there because it's like when when you know, and I'm looking at it from a UK perspective. Yeah. Like when you think of like Atlanta artists, you think yeah. of like crunk, you think of like trap and turn yeah. up and everything else. Well, how did you how did you manage to be like? I'm just gonna do this in this lane. This is me, and I do it very well. Uh, I was just trying to find a medium between, you know, what I'm saying, because being from Atlanta, we all like are from the same cloth, but it's like mm. a different stitch. I'm mm. like, I feel like I'm like a different stitch into that cloth, mm. and I, I could kind of see like the generations under me kind of like taking heed to like what I'm doing and right. following that trajectory. Like it's kind, it's kind of cool to see at the same time because I'm not really tripping on either scene between like straight hip hop or trap. I'm right. just trying to like blend ja- genres right. and make sure it's like authentic mm. to who I am as a person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really like, I listen to everybody, but mm. I know that ain't me. So I know where I like right. stand amongst those and I know where I could like stand out amongst those as well. Mm. Yeah. Do you, do you think, do you think, do you think lyricism was, do you think lyricism is as respected as it was like in the days when you was listening to Outkast and Jay-Z on the come up? A hundred percent. Because if you think about the the highest selling artist today, like if you want to go like top five in the industry or, mm. or of, of hip hop specifically, mm. who the top five guys and mm. what do they do? You know mm. what I'm saying? It's lyrics. It's Kendrick. Mm. It's Cole. It's mm. Drake. And it's whoever the other two you want to throw in there. Like mm. but I just know those three specifically mm. are straight lyricists. Mm. Even if Drake is singing, like he's saying some crazy shit. Mm. And Kendrick and Cole is just undeniable. So with those three right there, like I feel like it's super appreciated when it's, it's levels to it you know what i'm saying mm. like it's it's different palettes and it's levels to it but when you hear those guys specifically those three guys you know it's like a whole nother level to the music mm. so i try to like stay mm. in that lane because lyricism is not dead it's just like music is growing we're going to like different levels it's going higher like i feel like it's super i feel like it's like hella sub genres in hip-hop right now mm. you know what i'm saying you got the ragers you mm. got like I guess auto tune, whatever. I use that mm. shit too, so whatever. Mm. But it's just like a bunch of different sub subgenres, rock, like mm. with it, and yeah. It's a great time. Yeah, it's a great time. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. like the biggest hip hop yeah. has ever been, like right yeah, now, yeah. today, like whatever time it is. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the feature game, right? When when artists that aren't hip hop artists reach out for a rapper, they normally go to this month's go-to guy. Yeah. Like, every month or every season, there'll be a guy that everyone seems to yeah. go to for a verse, right? Yeah. And then they're on every record and everything else, and then you kind of don't hear from that person yeah. again. And you, you, you've you done some some collaborations recently which are really different, like, they're very, very different to what you've done before. Yeah. And it, it's almost like eyebrow raising. You're like, oh, okay, it's doing that. Okay, yeah. okay. And you kill, of course, you kill every feature that you're doing. Number one rock so- song globally right now with Magic Dragons. <laughs> number one in the world globally. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't think I'd see you like teaming up with Imagine Dragons. How did yeah. that happen? How did that come about? All of them, like, it's just music. You know, it's just respect. You know what I'm saying? Musical is like a, a universal language that everybody can feel. And it's all really about the feeling. So all the features are just with people that I respect and I can stand beside. Like, just like but they, they can stand beside you, me. Though. They've, they've reached out. It, yeah. it feels like. They've specifically said we need JID for this track. Yeah, yeah, which makes sense because I'm like one of the greatest. So. <laughs> <laughs> but at the same time, like it's just been a mutual respect because mu- mm. it's just music is just a feeling, you know what I'm saying? So if they feel what I'm doing, and and these are like huge stars like Dua mm. Lipa, like, but that's mm. my gang now, you know what I'm mm. saying? Like people wouldn't expect that, mm. but it is what it is. I didn't think I'd see yo Dua Lipa. I didn't. I didn't. I, I didn't think I'd, I I never thought that could happen. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, and that's what's so great about music because it's like mm. opened me up to a whole nother thing. And then she's just like one of the greatest artists of, mm. of the times right now. Crazy so. voice, amazing, yeah, and yeah, she's yeah. just a good person. Right. Yeah. How did you guys connect? Uh, 
I feel like we just have mutual friends mm. and people that we know, and it just really happened organically. It wasn't too much like industry kerfuffle or mm. whatever. We just like made the record happen. My verse was a little longer. Do it. You should have kept the rest of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I but but at some point, Dua Lipa said, "I want." JID on my album. Yeah. At some point, that was she was like she's told her A and R, her label or whatever, whatever. Yeah. I want one of the greatest lyricists in rap on my album. Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. Me not too. the go-to guy. Not, <laughs> not, you know what I mean? Like, right. You know, what I'm yeah. just in my lane. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to like follow yeah. any trends or anything, but it's working out for me. Mm. What's the response like to that? Because you know, you you got you kind of got like a cult fan base. You yeah. got people who are just diehard, dedicated JID fans, yeah. Dreamville fans. Have you noticed? Is it is it any different now? Are you get like, yeah, yeah, all of it. Because I've done it like a bunch of different mm. genre. I've been blending genres. Like I did like a boombox cartel. Like a mm. I didn't I didn't up. expect that neither. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I love dubstep. Like dubstep. Yeah, I yeah, like yeah, I did yeah. that and Yeah. What made you want to do that though? Was that just like it's fire? Like, you know what I'm saying? I really can do anything because I don't think like I should just stay in one space of like music. You know what I'm saying? That's boring right. for real. Okay. I could sit here and make boom bap all day. Right. I can make a trap song, but like let's try this dubstep or mm. let me be a part of like Doja Cat album, like mm. one of the biggest pop stars like up to date too. Yeah. Like but, but that's what I'm saying, like Imagine Dragons, Julia Lipper. Boombox Cartel and Doja Cat. I, I didn't fancy on the Doja Cat album yeah, either. Yeah, but she got bars though. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah we got a yeah, couple yeah. records just yeah. barring each other up. Like, that's really? what it's about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a really a rapper. She could sing and do all of the great stuff she does. But at the end of the day, like, I don't know. I feel like she's like her core, her base is like hip hop. If she ever did a hip hop album with like somebody like Alchemist or like Mad Lip, mm. like, it'll be it'll fucking blow my mind. And I really? want that. I told her that. Seriously? Yeah. Like, do straight hip hop just one time. Give me six yeah. songs. Yeah, 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 just to Alchemist, like yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying, yeah. to like hella heavy Griselda type beats, yeah, like imagine yeah, that shit, bro. Like, yeah, yeah that's what yeah, I would yeah. love from her, just because be I'm, I'm such a hip hop purist as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah same here, man. Yeah. I, can't, I can't, you know, this this pop shit, I can't really do it. Man. <laughs> I mean, it's no, like... it's all great, bro. I love it all, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I listen to it. I, I, I real really rap, enjoy man. it. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. Wow, but but again, at some point, Doja Cat said to her people i want jid on my album yeah i'm gonna have one of the biggest albums of the year i want jid on this yeah it's a bit you know we're talking about you know I, i'm saying his lyricism still respected of course it is like yeah. i'm just saying that but I, it i just wanted to talk about it because you got fans that are literally putting big fans that are literally putting it out there and yeah. including you on the projects it's it's dope yeah, it doesn't it normally happen it doesn't for real like you even know? this year long all the stuff all the collaborative features i did like they don't even like line up, but I feel like I did a consistently good job on each one of them. So oh, you it's something I could be proud of. You know what I'm saying? Because you did a good job. It's appreciate like... you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Inevitable. It's, it's dope. dope. It's dope. Really All right. So for people who may not know, the, the Spillage Village album, Spilligian, one of the best albums of 2020. It should have got every Grammy, every category, in my opinion. I yeah, you know dope. what? I can't own. I love my label. Mm. Or whoever did this, but they put that shit in a rap category. Mm. Mm. That's all. <laughs> <My issue. laughs> I just don't think that music was just straight rap. You no, know what I'm no, saying? No, 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 not at all. That that was like, yo, that that was different on many levels. That was just it's just a great album. I would put it in like, like country or fucking soul or some shit or gospel or something. Yeah, I don't no, know. No, no, no. I just don't think it was hip. It felt it felt yeah, like yeah. more than that to me. Yeah, that um, could that could have been a gospel album. That could have been Yeah. Know. Um but it was definitely genre bending though. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. And shout out to Earth Gang as well. Yeah, Mariba, also, Black, yeah. Jordan, Hollywood, yeah, yeah. JB, Benji, whole gang. Earth Gang are like incredible spitters. Yeah. As well. I learned like, I learned a lot from them. I wouldn't even be doing this if I didn't meet meet them. Really? Facts. I wouldn't even be rapping at all because I, I had a full scholarship. I was in college playing football. I was like swole jit. You know what I'm saying? I was really big. This is like rap smoking weed body jit. But <laughs> it's facts. <laughs> but right. when I met them, I was the same height, but I was just a little bit thicker and stuff. Right. And I remember Doc specifically, or Wild Great, he mm -hmm. was like, bro, you're not growing no more. You're not going to go to NFL. You need to just come rap. <laughs> really? Like, 
It blew my mind. I was like, what? You're my friend. Like, I got a game tomorrow. <laughs> and, then, and then the real is that it was true. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm. I was tired of that shit. I was tired of tackling and doing all the extra shit working really? out. Really? I was great at writing, bro. Like, I had like a 3.0 in college just because I got a great memory. Like, really? Yeah, so I did super good in school. School always been easy to me because I know niggas was lying to me and I know what the truth was. <laughs> so I used to be checking teachers. <laughs> That's not true. Get the, <laughs> like I always did my history. My dad was my dad is super intelligent. My mother right. is the same. So I just always had inclination to like search for the truth. Right. And even if they try to tell me whatever was a part of the curriculum, I was like, nah, somebody like that's not true. That never happened. This is what happened. Woo-woo. And I always had good grades and stuff like that until I got kicked out. Then yeah, right. No regrets. Not one. Really? Yeah, I would do everything that I did to get here over again. Okay. Yeah. What would you say to someone who? is in the exact same position as you right now because that rap career is not for everybody. No. I, I tell people other times, you don't want to be a DJ. Um. <laughs> don't, don't be like me. I'm just so saying. what you should be saying, what would I tell someone who's like in, back when I was di- back then? Yeah, pursuing? You, you got that crossroads. You yeah. could either excel in this or get into rap. Yeah. What would you say? Um, It really depends on who I'm talking to because I kind of got get like a realization. If I hear somebody and I see talent, I'm like, keep going. Like, you're going to make it. You know what I'm saying? But if it's not realistic and it's not really like clicking, like I know every time I set my focus and my goals towards something, when I started the music, it clicked. You know what I'm saying? Something always clicked and worked out. And you can feel that. It's a natural thing. Like, it felt really natural with me writing songs and doing all the stuff that I did to get this position. So, yeah, it just really depends on, like, if it's in the cards for you. It ain't on nobody else but the fans and, and God. Because as an artist, you can't make nobody, like, listen to you if they're not feeling you. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? It's it's hard to literally make somebody a fan. You can't make nobody a fan. It's mm-hmm. literally supposed to be that way. Mm-hmm. So that's literally what it is. You just got to be true, with your, true to yourself. Mm-hmm. Like, don't lie to yourself and be comfortable in your own skin, I guess. You came through doing – you dropped a couple of mixtapes. Yeah, you doing your thing. Like, how do you stay, how do you stay focused and maintain that belief in yourself? Because I, I just tweeted before I came in here that, you know, focus on the art and someone said, yeah, the, the lonely moments and the self-contemplation and everything else and all of that. And that comes with it, which is true. Yeah. But how do you maintain? Uh, Like I said before, it's really like self-identity, just knowing who the fuck you are. You know what I'm saying? Like being real with yourself. Um. Which is kind of hard for some people, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know, I never found that hard for myself. I don't lie to myself, you know what I'm saying? Like, Mm. I look in the mirror and I know, like, what it is. And Mm. I don't know if everybody has that same mindset, but I just think that's what it is. Just trying to stay true to yourself. Is it because you, like, you you realize what your your goals and your purpose was very early? Like, you knew, like, all right, I'm going to do this. Yeah, and I was raised that way. My parents, like instill like a lot of confidence in, in me you know what i'm saying mm. they told me from jump like you're beautiful and black like you're gonna have these type of struggles but at the same time you gifted with these things and mm. if you tap into those then you'll be able to fuck the world up you know what i'm saying in your own type of way yeah <laughs> right, right right so I, I always believed in myself you know what i'm saying right. it's just i guess it was confidence that was instilled in me at home or mm. just me just knowing like who i am mm. yeah. you're signed to dreamville j cole's label yeah what 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 role is i'm saying it's like i'm for people who may not know yeah. like what what how instrumental has he been in terms of what you do in your career with rap like what, what have you learned or how he's how has he helped or made a difference um he's just a super solid guy that's all i ever needed him to be you know what i'm saying i didn't come into it like hey i need you for all the guidance all the, all the lyrics how did you write that song how the force he'll drive come to i am ah i just need you to just be a real nigga like hey bro like yeah. what you doing today you want to yeah. hit the blunt, like let's go play basketball, like in in those moments, or let's go get some food and eat or whatever. Like in those moments, that's where the conversation and dialogue, where we can like be real with each other, and I can learn stuff from him, just being who he is, but not trying to necessarily go after like the information, all the knowledge in his head. It's gonna come out eventually, you know what I'm saying? And if somebody's like, if you've been down this road already, and you see that I'm heading like down this road. I feel like he's the type of guy that's not going to let me, like, make that left when, you know what I'm saying? He's like, nah, but I don't, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like that's just where he stood place is just being a real person. That's all I really need. I don't, mm. I don't like the superficial. I don't care about all the glamour and whoever. Mm. Like, he's just been a real person to me the whole time. And I just 
took that internalized it like I could do the same thing. I just be a real person, like a real nigga and goddamn mm. help people out when I can, stand back when I need to stand off and move forward like that. Mm. Yeah. I met Cole when he first came to the UK. Yeah. This is like um grown Simba times. Like yeah. when he first, first, first came out. Yeah. And he was stranded here because there was a volcano. This is a crazy story. It's amazing. So <laughs> it's amazing. So he was here for another week more than what he should. So I was taking him around and everything else. Yeah. And um real cool guy, man. Real cool guy and everything else. And then just before the pandemic, last time he, he came out here, I, I, got, I got a message, yeah, come to the show. So I was like, all right, come to the show and everything else. And then we go backstage. And he's like, immediately after, he just come off stage, tore up the O2, right? And, yo, Sam, what's going on, man? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah cool, man. Because he's different now. He's in a bigger place now. You know, yeah. he's very, like, it's dope to see people grow. Yeah. But a lot of the time, some people change, yeah. you know. Most of the time, it's for the good. There's some people kind of not, you yeah. know. But but he was like, "Hey, come backstage." So we go backstage. I said, like, "What's going on?" And I'm like, "Yo, I just don't do this." Like I'm looking, I'm yeah. like, <laughs> "Like we're cool." Like yeah. obviously, I know you're still cool. Same same cool, but yeah. I was like, normally, like you know, there's partying or there's other stuff, or some artists just want to get off to the hotel. You don't see yeah. them. And then um. And then he was with me and he was like, he was talking about making beats. And he's like, oh, where do you make beats? He's like, oh, he said, yeah, yeah, I use Ableton. He's like, yeah. and it started making beats. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yo, let's do this. Like, and every first, this five minutes after coming off stage. Y'all start making beats together? Yeah, crazy, hard. crazy. That's so fire, bro. Yeah. It's, I, and I you was, still got the beats? Let me have them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was, I was like, I was registering it. I was like, nah, this doesn't, no, this, this is this surreal. It's great, yeah. but it's surreal. Yeah. You know, so it's it's dope that he's still that. Same That's just type. that real nigga shit, like yeah. some real person shit. Like, yeah. I want to make beats. I just got off stage, cool. But yeah. let's just put this together. That's hard. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I don't need you to be a philosopher. Yeah, yeah. I need you to be real to me. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And that's that's where everything on win. Yeah. He always comes yeah. in the clutch with that. Just mm. being a real person. Like, we need to be heard, mm. or whatever the case may be. And he's the only rapper I've seen comfortable in Crocs. <laughs> My boy be cool in there, right? <laughs> My boy be chilling. Yeah, yeah, for real. yeah. I got on a white beater, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't tripping, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, the chain yeah. cold one with the chain on, but yeah. Yeah. Now nah, I hear that. So, yeah, 2020, the Spillage Village album, crazy. It was, it was dope. It was like, it was like the vaccine, man. It was that thing where it was, it was substance, it was spiritual and everything else. And then 2021, well, you got some of the biggest features you could possibly have. Yeah. Like, you, you couldn't ask. Maybe, all right, maybe, I don't know if you've got an Adele feature lined up, but that's the only way you could really talk right. about everything <laughs> else you got, right? For real. So, so, bro, you got you got a perfect setup for what's next. Yeah. So, what's next? Mm, the album, I've been working on it since the last one, but I've been doing, like, stuff in between, like, the Dreamville Project was in 2019. I feel like I dropped at the end of 2018, so... It led into 2019 with me doing a lot of tours because I dropped November, damn, almost around this time in 2018. Mm. Three years, kind of crazy. Yeah. But 2018, I dropped. 2019, we did the Dreamville thing, mm. and I was touring. Like, I did, like, damn near 300 shows. Like, I fucked my voice up and everything. Mm. 2020, I healed up, did the project with Spillage Village, and then this year, I've been focusing on myself, like, because coming off of 2020, it was just a lot. Like, mm. everybody took a step back. Everybody yeah. lost money. Yeah. Uh, it was just a bunch of different changes. But now it's like, okay, I kind of understand who I am. I kind of understand how my fans see me and what they want out of me and stuff like that. So it's kind of be like full, cir full circle because I'm like a grown-ass man. You know what I'm saying? I made some money in it. I learned the ups and downs of it. So it's kind of going to lead in, not even kind of yeah. going to lead to it. It's really going to lead into me, like, uh coming into a full circle moment i think it's gonna be like the best project my fans ever heard i've been going through shit bro it's just been real shit going on for real yeah right, right, right. yeah right well like uh i don't want to talk about okay it. Yeah. all right cool, cool, nothing cool. like crazy bad or right, anything right, right, like right. that but just like yeah. personal I go, I go family ask, shit you know <laughs> yeah, what i'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. like learning how to yeah. be a, a nigga with money in yeah. america like little shit yeah. like that learn how to pay taxes and right. shit like that and i'm right. i'm the youngest in my family right but i take care of everybody yeah so it takes a minute to learn that. Like that Yeah, whole, it's not nothing that you, yeah. it's a handbook for, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, All of that yeah, stuff yeah. takes time and growth. Yeah. So even me like not putting the album out as soon as I guess P 
people would have liked, like I don't really give a fuck when they need the music. Cause you know what I'm saying? Like it's about when I feel content with it mm. or when it's ready. Mm. You know what I'm saying? When the music is ready, that's when the music is gonna come. I feel like we live in a like a fast food society where mm. everything is coming so fast. There's so much music, everybody in and out the game so fast and like what we how many years ago we met? Like it's like it, I think it was like Maybe sixteen or seventeen or something. Yeah, like that. Maybe yeah, seventeen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's when I first yeah, dropped my first project, the Never yeah, Story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it could be seventeen. It's going yeah. on five years. I've been in the game. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure you could know. Probably not remember, but it's a lot of artists that been came and went in yeah, five yeah, years, yeah, yeah. and I'm like, yeah, on the number one rock song in America right now. That's what I'm saying. That's what, not in America in the globe on the globe globally. <laughs> not even America's bigger than that. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like we just yeah. left Budapest, like wow. performing on the MTV Awards, like. Wow, stuff like that is like stepping stones. Yeah. You know what I'm saying to where I feel like it's gonna lead into my like full greatness if that's what God got planned for me. You feel me? Mm. Yeah, it's a good journey. It's a good journey because it's like there's other artists who would be like impatient, man. Yeah, like I, I I see it. Like I work with artists, I see it. Like oh no, no, it's got it's got to come out, it's got to come out. Like and it's like it don't work like that. Yeah, you know? it's never like a rush unless you just make that song and you just you know what I'm saying all that person but everybody got different journeys i feel like most artists want the same journey they mm. want it today mm. like right now mm. i never really be tripping i'll be i'll be chilling like you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah, just yeah. trying to make sure the product is good opposed yeah. to just like throwing on the best outfit and getting the craziest tats and then mm. going and being all on the phone ah, like <laughs> all that shit is extra to me you know what i'm saying yeah, I, really, yeah, yeah. I really just care about the music yeah, yeah. and all the other stuff gonna fall through the back you know what I'm saying yeah. you can fall to the wayside but if the music is amazing yeah. hopefully that can like take me where I need to be mm. so I'm just basing it I'm using my I'm betting the bank on the music type shit yeah yeah, yeah. so when's the album coming <laughs> I can't even right. is it finished it's it's 98% that I'm waiting on a few features right. tying up some loose ends transitions and shit Right. My dad got to finish this little verse. It's just little shit. <laughs> oh, really? Really? Yeah. Right, 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 yeah. right. But you got everybody that you want on there, like the majority of them. It's so crazy. Really? Yeah, it's crazy. Okay. Yeah. You getting returned favors from things that you jumped Dang, on? that's very specific. <laughs> <laughs> now we get in <laughs> Now you just funnel out, cutting all the fat out. Like, <laughs> maybe. All right. <laughs> all right. So, nah, it's... it's I got yo because if I, I got some return favors on there, okay. If I don't ask your fans to be like, yo, step six back, yeah, you, yeah, you yeah. did ask the real shit. Yeah, man. It's, like, it's some favors being returned. If they're not, and they contractually obligated. <laughs> I need my shit. <laughs> Send it. <laughs> Vocals are in. <laughs> Vocals are in. Right, right. That's dope. That's dope. So, are you? Are you like? Like, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna push you for a date. I'm not gonna push you for anything like that. But. Yeah. Have you got it in your mind where you're like, you know what, I'm looking for this season or I'm just gonna do this and then I'm gonna do that? Have you have you got are you just like when it's done, it's done? It's basically done. So um I got a specific date which is gonna make like another full 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 circle moment about it, which is like that's all I like doing. I like things to like line up and just make sense to the fans, mm. even if it's like little Easter eggs that they mm. picking up on the way. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Feels like this could be your biggest moment. Given everything that you've put in place God willing, leading yeah. up to this. Yeah. For those who don't know, they're about to know. Facts. That's dope. Yeah. That's dope. That's dope. That's dope. Yo, man. Well look, this this has been great to hook up again. Appreciate you, brother. We should do this in the next full circle moment. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's gonna be soon. I'm coming back out here soon. Right. Cause I'm gonna go like I'm, I'm gonna run through the market again. I'm okay. So next next time it's come through the radio station. Yeah, like, should I rap or some shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you, yeah. you no, be no, doing no, that on your do shows? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's do yeah, that. I'll do that live that on air. We'll just, I'll just, I'll just fling some instrumentals on. Yeah, that's easy. And then we'll do the, we'll do the albums, albums out now talk. We'll do yeah. That. That's a different, that's a different interview. That's a different that's conversation. Different yeah, that's yeah, like, yeah. 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 yeah, but this, like, this, this, we'll do this the next full circle moment. We'll do it again, man. Yes, sir. Again. And it has to be in East London. Yeah. Yeah. We always have <laughs> facts. It's, For it's the my third hood. time. For the third time. So is is there anything you want your fans to know? Because we, we got a lot of people listening to this worldwide, like every country, like mm -hmm. obviously UK, US, India, everywhere. Um, my fans, like my real fans know what's up. Like they they've been patient and they've been like 
egging me on, like, drop it. They telling me to drop it all the time. So, I don't know. Just be prepared. Like, this body of work means more to me, like, a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's been, like, super important. It's been hard times going through it. Like, some shit got leaked. It's been amazing. Like, I love shit like that. Carter, I just remember just Carter 2 got leaked. And his shit went fucking insane. Right. Dua Lipa album got leaked two weeks before it came out. Yeah. Like, it's just good, like, omens. You know what I'm saying? It's like, right. oh, I'm, a, I'm around some, like. No, but, bro, you can't say you love leaks. You can't say that. Bro. I mean, it's cool. It's whatever. Okay. Yeah. It's, <laughs> that, that shit don't get to me. Stuff like that don't get to me. All right. No. Are, are the leaks, are they artificial leaks? Are they real leaks? Are they, like. It's all old shit. It's, that's why it's so funny. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. There you have it. Yo, how does stuff get leaked, man? I don't know. Cause you, you, and I, I know, I know, like artists like yourself, it's just you and the producer. Like, you know what I mean? It's like it's got to be a mole somewhere. <laughs> we'll sniff them out. <laughs> <laughs> we find them. <laughs> no sweat. <laughs> no sweat. We'll find you. All right. Well, listen, man. Thanks for taking the time out and safe trip back and good luck and looking forward to the album. Yes, sir. Cool. My boy. All right.